hello guys welcome back welcome back um in the previous video we determined or we found the wave function of a particle in a one-dimensional box and in this video we are actually going to normalize um that wave function because of um in the previous video it was left unnormalized you know my a question might come that might tell you to determine the wave function of a particle in a one-dimensional box that is normalized so if that's the case, you're going to take um, it further to this point. So, first of all, we know that um, when you're going to normalize this wave function, we know that our box had a length of A. So, we're going to consider the conjugate of our wave function dx. We know that the sum of all possible probabilities equals equals to one you know so we are just gonna just dive right into it so um from zero to a we are actually integrating so um yeah it might feel as if you know physical chemistry is mathematics but above the mathematics it's very much important to appreciate um the chemistry behind it all right okay so the the conjugate and um the psi of x will will be the same here right so it's gonna feel like we are actually multiplying the um, the function by itself you know but be careful when when you guys are given uh wave functions that have to do with like you know complex numbers because of in that case it will not be the same right okay so basically we're gonna factor out a because of a is a constant so it's gonna be a squared from 0 to a so it's sine squared n pi divided by a x d of x equals to 1 you know we can carry this further and say a squared and remember a is the normalization constant equals to 1 over this integral n pi divided by a of x dx all right so your job now is to find the the value of this integral right all right because this is it is your chemistry that is being tested here i'm certain that maybe your lecturer might give you um, um, equation on the data sheet that would actually make life much more easier for you x minus 1 over 4 a sine 2 a x plus k all right so this will be the the equation all right, so don't worry about the k. You know, the k is is, is only there because um, there are no boundaries, right? So for our sake here, um, it's going to be a squared equals to 1 divided by 1 over 2x minus 1 over 4. Okay, but now we must note what is a. I mean, what are we talking about? So a is in front of x. So what is in front of x is n pi. It's n times pi divided by a. So it's n times pi divided by a. So that is that is that is that is our a multiplied by the sine of two a. So what is our a again? N pi divided by a multiplied by x, right? Then for all of this, we are going to apply the boundary conditions. You can see what I'm doing. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool. So it's 1 divided by 1 divided by 2. We're going to apply the first boundary equation. 1 was minus 1 divided by 4. And pi divided by A. Multiplied by sine. Um, um, this is going to be 2 times N. Pi over a 
going to substitute a minus. Okay, I'm just going to sub substitute, you know, the boundary conditions minus 1 over 2 times 0 minus 1 over 4 times n pi um, divided by a multiplied by sine 2 n pi a multiplied by 0 you know okay we are close to finding our normalization constant so a squared equals 2 so um, this a and this a will um, actually divide so the sine of 2n pi you know the sine function um, you know I can also continue so it's 0 pi 2 pi and stuff you know negative pi um, negative 2 pi it continues okay cool so sine of 2 pi 2n two pi will be 0 so this entire thing will be 0 so this is 0 also and sine of 0 will be 0 so we are left with 1 divided by a over 2 right we are almost there so a squared equals to 2 divided by a right then our a will equals to finally 2 divided by a so our wave function our normalized wave function for particle in a one dimensional box is equals to the square root of 2 divided by a sine n pi divided by a over x so there is it the wave function of a particle in one dimensional box where n is going to be one two three n is actually the quantum number you know what i'm saying so yeah guys we have arrived so thank you for watching on the next video we'll actually be discussing um the energy of a particle in a one dimensional box right will actually determine that energy and yeah so i trust to see you there so just write anything you're uncertain about in the on the wave uh function of a particle in a one-dimensional box otherwise thank you for watching guys stay cool stay awesome